My name is Catalina Africa. I am a painter, a sculptor, a musician, a mother, a wife, a dancer. <laughs> I currently live in Baler with my family. I've been living there for the past seven years. I grew up in Manila and my background as a kid growing up was actually classical violin. My whole path was geared towards becoming a classical violinist. But then upon entering college, I decided that classical violin, that it's like a tradition and there's not much freedom of expression, <laughs> I guess. So I decided to go into fine arts and then worked several years in Manila until a couple of years ago. I had an artist residency in Baler and I met my husband and I decided to move my practice there. Most of my practice has been about kind of articulating my inner world and of course this body of work also kind of deepens that, deepens that conversation within myself. I just feel like now it's not just about me, but it's also about myself interacting with the natural world, which I feel is a very, very strong force in my life. I would like to start talking about the show with the picture of a mound of clay. I was so fascinated by this mound of dirt because I was thinking of it as a sculpture that was made by the river, which, is, which it is next to, by weather, by human hands, because the kids love to climb up on it and slide on it. And I thought it was just so beautiful because like, I was thinking, what if I could be a participant in the process of like, how a sculpture like that is made? How could I participate in the processes of the earth. I think the very essence of my show, Shrine in the Shape of a Shadow, is about deepening or creating a more nuanced dialogue with the natural world. To reveal the process of shape-shifting, to revel in the process of shape-shifting, and to reframe painting as a kind of divination dialogue, which means when you're in divination with something, it's you're kind of having a conversation with unseen forces, one might say. Painting as not coming solely from me as an individual artist, but me being a conduit for other energies to express itself through me. Like, I always considered my paintings to be inner worlds, even before I moved to Belair. But they were always my external world. Before I moved to Belair, it was like rooms and stages and houses. And now it became like natural landscapes. The video piece is called Exploring Empathy in Liminal Space an experiment for reconnecting to inner constellations. I made this with my friend, my neighbor, Bella Kittel, who is also a marine biologist. And we have been having lots of conversations about what it means to be part of an ecosystem I've been thinking about the shadow as something that's underground, hidden, not in our conscious minds. And when you talk about shadow work, you know, it's like facing the uncomfortable feelings and emotions and thoughts that, you know, you've repressed within your mind. 
making all these hidden things into a shrine is it's just like so beautiful and kind of also encapsulates what I want to say about bringing things that are unseen into the scene, into reality, or like bridging realms or bringing things to light. Thank you.